So I have a wall behind me and a bunch of scrap wood and I want the scrap wood on the wall. Let's make it happen. <music> saw this guy do something online once that saved a lot of time and this is gonna take a while so let's try it well I'll be damned I'll definitely be using that little trick again Hey, so I'm actually up in the rafters of my shop and the owners before us, they left a bunch of scrap lumber that you can see back here. And so we're actually gonna recover this one board that's right behind me. It's a piece of three quarter inch plywood that's just over 12 inches wide. It'll make perfect shelf at the bottom of my lumber storage rack. So we're gonna pull it out now and get it cut down to size. At this point everything was cut so it was time to start mounting. The piece of plywood I pulled out for the bottom shelf turned out to be the perfect length so it didn't need to be cut down at all. This wall was offset from the 2x6 at the top by about 1.5 inches. I took some scrap pieces of 2x4 to perfectly fill this gap and also provide a little bit more for the lag bolts at the top of the vertical pieces to catch. the lower part of these vertical boards to be flush with the bottom of that horizontal board at the bottom of the wall so my wife being as amazing as she is helped me hold them in place while I anchored them at the top made sure all these vertical boards were level and anchored them at the bottom before I went to the back side of the wall to really secure them in place. On the back side I used washers with these screws to really suck those vertical boards to the wall. This really held them tight and in place and they didn't move at all whenever I was done. I prepared all the braces for the bottom shelf by drilling some holes and presetting the screws.
wanted to make sure that all the pipes I was using were going to have a slightly upward angle. That way once they were fully loaded they wouldn't be angled down toward the ground. There might have been an easier way to do this, but I took a protractor I had and I put it flush with the back wall and then I held the drill bit right on the 90 degree. So once I knew the drill bit was flat, I slightly put a 5 degree angle on it upward and then drilled the hole there. I had some leftover 3 quarter inch aluminum balusters from a previous decking project. I cut these down to 20 inches for the racks. Alright, so real quick, I want to show you one change that I made. I started off making those 3 quarter inch holes with this 3 quarter inch Forstner bit. And the problem with the 3 quarter inch Forstner bit is when you start going into the wood at an angle it typically wants to flatten on its own and that's just because you're putting pressure on one side and so it's just going to counter by pushing that other side in and all you have to control that is this little tip so what i did is i switched to an auger bit which has this lead screw and so since i made a pilot hole that lead screw would stay in the pilot hole while the auger bit would follow behind it so this was a much better um, bit to use for actually making these holes and making sure they stayed true to that five degree angle that I was shooting for. That's all I got for you today guys thanks a lot for watching stick around I got some other videos that I'm gonna be doing here soon um, for Christmas I got a, a drill press and a bandsaw from my wife's grandfather so I'm gonna be fixing those up they got some uh, a couple things wrong with them but repurposing them and get them to use in my shop um, I also will be having a miter saw station that I'll be making really soon because my miter saw stand actually broke during this project and then um, I'll also be making a uh, table saw station with an outfeed table. So those are gonna be happening really soon. Uh, once again, thanks a lot for watching and until next time, take a chance and build something.